you guys sleep? Oh, I <laughs> Sleep, yeah, that, that does help. Is this where breakfast is? French toast. French toast, are you serious? Yeah. Are you really making French toast? Yeah. Dang, you're hardcore. To. I'm about to, dude. This, this is a hardcore camper right here. Mike. Hey. It's Philip, right? Yes. Dave. Brad. Brad. Yeah. It's four letters. That's close. Yeah. With an A. We got a few more days to get it. There you go. I just sleep. Slept all right. Yeah. It's a little, a little chillier than I thought it would be, honestly. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Jason. Mateo with, with the, <laughs> the Kobe's. And another camera. Yeah. Yeah. Loved everything else. Hey, Jay. Hey. Welcome back. Good morning. Today is Friday. Friday. I don't even know what the date is. <gasps> It's Friday, it's March, it's March 1st, guys. March 1st. Ah, spring is officially, not really here, but I always associate the 1st of March with spring being here. I'm actually super duper excited about winter. Hopefully we've, we've like turned a corner uh, up in Utah. I, I know that I was super excited. Actually, I am greatly excited to be in Utah, but I was very excited for snow and everything else, but I'm tired of it now. I mean, after clearing your driveway with like feet of snow <laughs> and then like having to do it over again, like continually, uh, I, I'm just ready for it to be, you know, above freezing for a measurable time. We're out here, right here at the entrance of like, or the beginning of this like trail in the San Rafael Swell. Um, kind of had a little bit of a powwow last night and, and uh, I think we've changed our plans a little bit. We're gonna do uh, a portion of this trail today and then tonight, we're gonna to make our way over to Moab proper, and we're gonna hit some trails tomorrow. Justin was telling us last night that the San Rafael Swell Wilderness Area may be closed down soon, so it's kind of one of those things where like, we really wanna get in there, what's up? I really have no idea what to expect. I don't know, I'm pretty excited to see it. I gotta get, we gotta get going. I don't know, what time is it? 7.30. 30. I gotta, gotta get the kids up and get going because I think we we're trying to leave here by 8.15 or 8.30 or something like that and I gotta get packed up and all that. We got some rain last night or maybe some sleet or I don't know what happened last night but it was like, it was coming down. Did you hear that last night coming down? What was that? Was it rain? It's my love for you. My love for, his love for me. Coming down. Yeah, I love you too, AJ. <coughs> You're bringing it. <laughs> oh yeah. It's weird. Your lemon water tastes like not lemon water? Why not? I don't know. Dude, did you make, did you give me, did I, can I, French toast? I can't talk, th thank you. What? Whoa, that's bright. You're right, the sun's bright, ugh, blinding. How'd you sleep? I got so cold last night. You know how there's a sleep, there's like an extra sleeping, sleeping bag? Yeah. So I was in the sleeping bag and then I got into another sleeping bag like I was, Stacked two sleeping bags. So, so you were a bag in a bag? Yeah. <laughs> nice. I was warm then. Actually, it happened this morning. Hey, you like, should eat, eat this French toast though before it gets cold. Um, so, I'd get a fork and knife for sure. So, we thought it'd be a good idea. If we kind of ended each morning when we were at a campsite by picking up like trash. So I want to pick up 10 pieces of trash each. If we pick up 10 pieces of trash each, if we can find it, maybe we can't find it and that would be a good thing. But if we can pick up 10 pieces of trash each, that's 30 pieces of trash that wasn't here, that won't be here when we leave, that was here when we got here. We found some trash last night that we picked up, but it was dark and we didn't film it. So yeah, you ready? You want to find 10 pieces of trash? I picked up Ben's trash yesterday. <laughs> All right, well, so the cool thing is that uh, there wasn't a lot of trash. Probably got about 25 pieces. I'm trying to get the kids involved in this, but they're like, we don't want to touch garbage. Dad but we'll, we'll get them, we'll get them to it. And then they didn't touch any garbage and they're like, we have to wash our hands. I'm just messing around. But anyway, uh, Mateo with Tacoma Beast brought out a trash bag. 
Thanks, Mateo. Thanks, Mateo. Hey, baby. We want to make yeah. sure that that you know how important it is to clean up after yourselves oh, and if there's trash clean up after one another. We used to do this when we were kids, not kids, when I was kids. When my kids were younger, we used to go out with Bernie Bob, my wife's dad, to the beach. And um, we'd always pick up 10 pieces of trash on the way back in. That was like his thing. It's pretty cool. Keep the environment clean. Take care of it. Are you ready? That way people don't close it up. Loud and clear. Roger, 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 roger. Did you get it? It worked? You gonna do one, Lily? I can try. I'm kind of just afraid of breaking something. Yeah, I hear you on that. Dad, remember the last time I broke something, you literally said to me, Lily, never break anything ever Whoa! again. Whoa! Don't break your cockets. You all right? Strong. I guess we're gonna see how this goes here. It's pretty gnarly out here for sure. wasn't half as bad as we thought it was gonna be. I'm out of breath. So, so far this trail's been, it's been interesting. It's been a lot of little sloppy wet parts, which we kind of anticipated because the snow's melting off and it's getting warmer. It's 45 out, which is nice. And actually I'm breaking a sweat with the sun out on my face. So anyway, let's roll. Juice. Jason, you gonna be able to do that with your trailer, dude? I'm sure. From dad. Oh. 
I don't make it. So backing up is also the tricky part. So we got a trailer here. We had a Tacoma that was barely able to make it up, so. Hopefully the trail's broken in. We're gonna see. We'll see. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. AJ, move! It's good. <coughs> No problem. Non climatic. That's what I'm saying. I broke the trail. It's easy for everyone now. Yeah, I mean, first, first go and snow is all behind it. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit. I don't know how much of that you saw. You probably didn't see hardly anything, but this sucks. This really, this really sucks. You okay? Huh? I'm physically okay. Well, Jason, I'm not emotionally wanted, okay. You wanted some drama, right? I asked for it, didn't I? I mean, the, the, thumb the thumbnail, the title, Oh, I, I asked for it, didn't I? A little much. Yeah. Do you want me to film or anything so you can just get your mind on this? Or? Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to focus. Oh, shoot. I said swear words, too, and I shouldn't have. <laughs> well. It's okay, Dad. Life oh, makes flip. you say swear words. Flip. We're going to snatch Jason to that tree, hopefully. Okay. Um. We're just gonna create like a 90 degree or 45, whatever degree that is. I'm not a math guy. But, uh, and then have you just go straight that way. What? Oh, I know, that's fine. Actually, why don't you guys come away from there though? I'm gonna crawl down there and clean that stuff up. You don't want any help? I don't want you guys down there, no. Okay. It's not that I don't want help, I just don't want you down there. There's another guy in the snow base, but I think they're okay. Um, This is crazy. This is crazy. I know this is crazy. So let me tell you what's going on. So at this point in time, the trailer's rolled. Actually, technically, it's called a flop. A flip is all the way over, rolled is... Anyway. I don't know if you've ever been through anything like this. It was such a jarring experience to... I've spent so much time trailering. I mean, I've been doing this for two years. I've gone on countless trips. I actually have known a couple of other people that have kind of flipped their trailers and, and it was a no, it was like a non, it was not a big deal for them. I flipped it back over and went on. But I guess for me, like I was like, I don't know. It was just a very jarring experience. There's so many things that are going through your mind when this happens. You're, you're like, you know, is anything broken inside? Uh, is anything broken outside? This is going to be, you know, be catastrophic damage. Um, what, is, what does this mean? You know, there's all these things that are racing through your mind. Of course, the first thing that's racing through my mind is, is the vehicle stable? Are we safe? Um, as soon as it happened, I put it in park, left my foot on the brake. I sat there for, you know, everything happened so fast. I don't know how long I sat there. But you know immediately if things are moving. The first thing I noticed is <coughs> I hopped out of the vehicle and, and, I, and I just, I kind of like pushed on the vehicle a little bit just to kind of make sure that like nothing was going to be shifting or moving. Um, and, 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 and it felt stable to me. So I told Lily to get out of the car. I got out of the car and, you know, of course, I'm, 
I'm ashamed of this, but I'm yelling expletives. Um, <clears throat> it was just such a jarring experience, you know? And, and in hindsight, looking back, I mean, everything seems to be fine, but, but we'll get to that. There's a lot that's going through your mind when something like this is happening. Um, obviously, the first thing is safety. The, 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 the second thing is, okay, how do I stop more damage from occurring? And so once I realized everybody was safe and I realized the vehicle was, was not moving, was stable, that meant no more damage was going to be occurring, then it was time to figure out what we're going to do next. So I've had a lot of time to think about like what happened to cause this. I mentioned I've done I've been trailering off road for you know a couple of years now. This is my second turtleback trailer that I've had, um, and of all of this, I, I've I've driven in some slippery conditions. I've driven in some compromising conditions, but I've never driven in snow. And you know I was talking to some of the guys, and they were saying you know snow delivers a very unusual sometimes unexpected experience when you're driving on it. Sometimes you can have traction, sometimes not, sometimes it's slippery, sometimes it's not slippery. Um, I'm new to snow. This particular mixture, it was very warm out. It was, um, I think I'd said early in the video, it was mid fifties. I don't think it was quite that warm, it was maybe mid forties, but it was melting and it was soft and it was slippery, very slippery. We were slipping and sliding all over the place. Uh, this was a mild trail, but given the slippery conditions, it was really like made it much more complicated. You know, in hindsight, looking at this, I mean, I, I would not feel comfortable trailering under conditions like these in the future because this is exactly what happened. So we went around this corner and it was, you know, just, just a slight downgrade, not much, but it's like, if you were to hit your brakes, you kind of you kind of you just kind of slide a little bit down. And see, here's the thing about a trailer: there's no drive line. Um, there's there's nothing to keep it going the direction that it that you want it to go. The only thing that the trailer's going to go wherever grav the path is going to take the path of least resistance. It's going to go where gravity takes it. And so, I kind of went. I tried to take that corner a little bit wide, but it was like a little bit of like a washout there. You know, maybe where. Uh, rain or water, I mean, just kind of, kind of comes down. I mean, you've seen this on a trail like a, like a, like a million times under dry circumstances, it would be a non-issue, but, but because it was wet, um, the trailer just slid. I got through just fine. The drive line, I got four tires moving and I, I, I was, I was going, but the trailer just goes zoop. And then there was a little bit of a hill. There's a little bit of a rock. It hit the tire and it just, it, it, it flopped. It's, it's what happened. The interesting thing is from here, it was, it was pretty touch and go. There were two other places where I'm not sure the trailer would have rolled, but it was, especially given what we'd just gone through, it was, it was, it was a little, I don't want to say scary. It wasn't scary. It was, we needed to take extra caution. Two, two different times after this point, we got out, we, we used Max Tracks to kind of baby ourselves through, especially the trailer. Um, of course, I was, sh I was shooken up. I mean, I'm still shooken up over the thing. I was, I was apprehensive trailering the rest of the, the rest of the day. I mean, I was just, you can imagine, you know, how it feels going through something like this. But I wanted to take a second to kind of emphasize the importance of safety uh, and taking caution in a situation like this. I already emphasized the points of safety that, that, that kind of like already went through my mind immediately. And that's kind of what you want to think about. First thing, safety. Make sure everybody's safe. Second thing, make sure that no more damage is going to be caused. Try to neutralize whatever's happening. Obviously, if you can't neutralize it, you need to get clear, right? And then the, the, then the last thing is the recovery. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the recovery in this video. I'm creating a second part um, primarily because I want to emphasize how well the recovery went. Um, you know, in any recovery, you want to appoint a lead. You want to uh, obviously make sure that the that, that caution and safety is, 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 is strictly adhered to. And you want to make sure that, that, that the plan, you go through it and you don't just like jump in and start doing stuff. You want to make sure you have a plan and everybody knows the plan. Everybody's clear on the plan. I didn't take lead. Uh, I don't know that anybody, 
you know, discussed making me lead or not, but, but in, in hindsight, I, I, I wouldn't have wanted to be. I was, I was emotionally, I was not in a good place to take lead of a complicated recovery. And it's not that I didn't even have any experience. Uh, Mike did. Um, Mike took the lead and he was fan fantastic. Um, but the recovery went so well. I think in hindsight, I didn't know any better because I'd never driven in snow, trailered in snow. But snow is an interesting, it's an, it has an interesting dynamic. And if you're going to be driving in, if you're going to be trailering in, you need to take a lot of extra caution uh, and be really careful. The, the slightest, the slightest like, like change in, in grade um, plus gravity can, can really add some what may feel like unexpected uh, and I say what may feel like unexpected results because in hindsight, like it did exactly what you would think it would do given gravity and slippery conditions. But when you're there in the middle of it, you, you don't realize, you might not realize that. So I'd just be really, really, I guess that's, that's kind of the moral of the story. Be careful in snow, especially when trailering. Snow's an interesting dynamic. I'm, this is new to me. Anyway, uh, I, I'm done talking. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys get a lot out of this video. This was kind of a hard video to make. Uh, there were obviously moments in my mind where I'm like, you know, do I share this? Do I not share it? Uh, and ultimately I decided that, that I think it's best to share because whether I'm an idiot and I made mistakes or whether this could happen to anybody, I, I think that there's a lot that can be learned from this. Uh, there's a lot that I've learned from this and hopefully there's some there's something that you can learn from this as well. And I, I just, I can't, I can't say how much, how thankful I am to everybody that was there that helped. Um, and I, I can't wait to share the next video with you to kind of show you how everybody came together on this recovery because the recovery, pardon the pun, went off without a hitch. It was perfect. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please like this video. Please share it with your friends if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next video.